Ron Rivera has traded black and blue for burgundy and gold. The Washington Redskins head coach had plenty of Panthers gear now to get rid of. And today, thousands of Panther fans lined up in Charlotte, eager to join the most anticipated yard sale of the year. Sports director Phil Orban was there and has more. It was a way for the Rivera family to say goodbye. It was a chance for a cathartic release from a team he's led for nearly a decade. And most importantly, it was an opportunity to give back. The line stretched from the Humane Society's front door all the way back to Remount Road, about a quarter of a mile. Panther fans waiting patiently for an autograph, a picture, and a chance to raid Ron Rivera's closet. And this is an opportunity to kind of give back one last time um, and give the folks a chance uh, to have some of the stuff that we had. And so we're kind of uh, you know, we're kind of grateful for the fact that there is a there is a good turnout for for the Humane Society. The Humane Society has been one of the charities that the Riveras have devoted themselves to in their near decade in Charlotte. The event today won't just bring money to the shelter, but awareness. To be able to share this facility and the state of disrepair that it's in is really important to us because a lot of people just don't know. This idea came from Andy Reid's wife, Tammy, who organized a yard sale like this when they left Philadelphia after 13 years. The Reeds raised $30,000 for charity. The Riveras, in saying goodbye, also hope to do some good. We're trying so hard to get this new facility built for Humane Society. Maybe that'll help. And sure enough, we've got crowds of people. They're going to get some good Panther uh, gear, and they're going to get to see why they need a new facility. Ron Rivera signed a five-year contract with Washington. He has since moved to the Virginia area, but it's clear from the reception today that he will always be welcomed in the Carolinas with open arms. And a lot of people wanted to get their hands on his stuff. In all, more than $30,000 was raised and more than 3,000 fans attended the event.